hello guys welcome back to my channel it forever so today we will learn in this video how to set up remote web access and uh, how to configure remote access publish remote app applications and uh, how to set up unlimited rd session means remote desktop session on a server uh, means uh, suppose if you have a, a server and uh, there are many users wants to uh, access this server and uh, try to perform uh, any uh, task related to your organization so you need to uh, set up these things because by default only two user can uh, uh, take remote of a server so uh, if you want to create multi session means uh, if you want many users can take remote your server and they can work on your server so today i will show you how you can set up the these all things means like remote web access how they can access your server uh, through remote web and uh, how you can uh, publish remote application and uh, how uh, unlimited uh, session will be uh, created on your server means at the same time how uh, many users can take remote to your server so let's start now so this is my server uh, that is that ip is 10.10.9 .10 and uh, i want to set up uh, this role on this server so just go on server manager click on manage add roles and features click on next and select this one remote desktop service installations click next uh, there are three options we'll go with the first one next virtual desktop deployment or session based desktop deployment so we'll select this one session based desktop deployment next remote desktop connection remote desktop web access remote desktop session host so these roles will be installed click on next uh, this is the server we can select this click next uh, okay need to select this next Yes. Restart the destination server automatically if required. So uh, the destination server is this. So once process will be start, so we can select it to restart automatically. Click on deploy option. Uh, as it will take some time, so. I am going to pause so you can see here uh, these all three roles has been successfully installed and so now we'll close this or just go here Uh, so now we will uh, configure for uh, remote access and uh, RDP services so we'll configure now so first we'll add RD gateway so ADC next 
need to create SSL certificate for uh, external uh, you can see here SSL certificate name use the external FQ driven of the RD gateway server means for external so we'll name here as rd dot it or if you want any other you can see here uh, rd gateway is adc dot id for your dot lan and rd gateway for external fqd1 will be rd dot it just add it configuring yes it is success succeeded now so just close go to our do licensing click next and add it in same way and configure succeeded now just close now we have to uh, configure certificate from here so I will show you how you can uh, create certificate if you have a certificate then uh, you can just select from here select existing by entering password and choose from different location by browsing but for for now we will just create new one so just you have to put here certificate name like rd broker we are going to create for rd connection broker so rd broker dot it forever dot lan password if you want to store this you can store or just click to allow the certificate to be added to the trusted root certification ok it is ready mode just click on apply actually it is showing a status ok because uh, uh, I have created uh, already a certificate but now I am uh, trying to show you how you can create it is uh, going on you can say it it's saving and it is in process yes you can see success and ok now for another one create new certificate or if, have, if you have already then you can use that one by select selecting select existing certificate so this one is for broke connection one minute rd connection broker this was for enabling and this is for publishing so rd rd broker publish means you can just put pub dot it very well dot lan means your domain name allow to save here otherwise if you want to save at another place then select here and save and click ok click on apply configuring the deployment
it is taking some time now it is also successfully created this is showing untrusted because uh, we are uh, creating itself rd wave access and rd gateway so you can see the few information here uh, the, this server has both rd gateway and rd wave access role services installed you should not configure the different certificate for these role services means rd wave access and rd gateway access you can also see here this certificate is required for server authentication for connection through rd gateway you can or the server has both rd gateway rd and rd web access roles installed you should not configure different certificate for these roles means uh, only one certificate should be installed for the both roles rd web access and for rd gateway so what we can do just we can create new one create rd web rd get dot it for your dot line password so as we have to uh, use this certificate for both rd wave access and rd gateway so we'll store this also browse just for now we are uh, saving here rd wave rd get with the name of rd wave rd get means rd wave access rd gateway save and uh, you can just allow certificate to be added the trusted root certificate click ok apply you can see here it is uh, going on yes it, you can see here it is successfully deployed and certificate created now if you want as we have already uh, saved the certificate of rd wave access and rd gateway so if you want you can uh, import the certificate for rd gateway also by select an existing as as we have already saved so choose different certificate browse rd wave rd get ok allow click on ok click apply the specific network password is not correct ok error select oh sit this one ok allow apply So it is also uh, going on. Configuring the deployment is in process. Saving.
could not configure the certificate on one or more server. Ensure that the server are available on the network and apply the certificate again. Uh, means uh, as we already uh, review for this both um, for this both RD wave access and RD gateway. Uh, no need to uh, configure the certificate if will uh, we have if will configure for rd web access then it is enough or for rd gateway then it is also enough so for now we are leaving this now we are going to check if we are able to uh, take remote by many uh, users id means if we are able to create many session for RDP and we'll also check uh, by publishing uh, remote app programs so I will show you from where you can uh, publish remote app program so if you want to create a new collection then just you need to go here and uh, create new one like re this one I will show you from here create session collection so from here you can create new collection name so you have to enter here collection name RD session host user and groups user profile disk and another another also so uh, you can create from here otherwise I have already uh, created so just I am going to cancel this and click here uh, remote so in the same way you can uh, create another uh, collection if you want like remote server or remote and if you have to publish uh, app programs just you can publish from here so yes you can uh, uh, publish programs from here like suppose if you want to uh, publish calculator character map or DNS or group policy management or any other so you can publish like suppose I am going to Publish for remote desktop connection and uh, WordPad and calculator. So just select this and click on next. If you want to uh, publish any other application, so just you have to click here and uh, click on add, browse and select and then click on next. and publish so uh, you can see here the remote desktop connection word file is published now now we will check uh, uh, is, is it pub published or not and uh, second thing we will also check uh, uh, RDP connection means will take this server uh, remotely from many users so that we can verify uh, if we are able to uh, take remote uh, or if uh, if we are able to create many session on this server so first i will show you i want to show you how you can uh, access the published app programs so you have to click here and you can say you have to click RD web access you can see this URL https adc.itpariva.lan slash rd wave or uh, you can also put here uh, https colon double slash uh, ip of server like 10.10.9 uh, that is showing here 10.10.9 so let us uh, see now so uh, what we'll do uh, as I have created this server on VM so 
I am going to uh, on any uh, another uh, VM machine so that we can check that is on Windows 10 so no issue I am going to take this on remote 10.10.10.11 yes so uh, now we will check uh, one minute we are on this client machine and now we will check if uh, we have published the remote app programs so this is the client machine now I'm going to open this is the wave uh, sorry uh, edge Microsoft edge so we'll open Internet Explorer we'll try with this as we have published uh, on this server 10.10.9 10.10.9 slash rd wave or you can just put here name like http colon uh, adc dot it parivar dot land slash rd wave click on continue to this website it it parivar dot land slash sky and put password click on sign in yes so you can see here uh, remote desktop connection and wordpad is sorry wordpad is published so in this way uh, we can publish the remote app programs we can also uh, connect to remote pc from here or we can also uh, try by here means directly by doing mstsc mstsc remote desktop connection 10.10.9 that is so uh, I am going to show you as by default only two users can take remote a uh, server so I will show you here how you can take uh, how many users can take this server remotely and access so I am going to enter here password for this user click OK yes you can see this server is on remote now 10.10.9 with the UK with the user uh, I think that was UK we will check here Yeah, the DKY means Dharmendra. So minimize it. We'll again take remote with another user 10.10.9. Use another UKY password. ABC. Yes, yes, you can see now the again it is on remote means we have uh, taken remote this server from 2id we'll check with another one also remote desktop connection connect use another jky abcd mention password enter yes you can see uh, as by default only two users can take server remotely but you can see here I have taken remote server with three IDs one two and three in the same way you can also take through 
to another user account uske bhai for okay yes also it is on remote now so uh, you have seen here we have taken remote of 10.10.9 server uh, through four user id 1 2 3 and 4 so in this way you can uh, set up the these all things for remote uh, web publish remote web program app and in the in the same way you can also create many creden many uh, session uh, means remote session or you can say uh, user can uh, access server remotely so i hope this is now completely uh, clear to you guys so in this way you can publish the wave remote wave app program and uh, uh, also create or also access remotely server through many users so i hope this video is really whole helpful for you so please subscribe my channel for next upcoming videos and uh, like and please don't forget to click on bell icon and share with your friends also thank you bye bye